Yeah, so um, when I was uh, 15, I lost my virginity. Yeah, so um, we was on a skiing trip to um, yeah, Canada. And on the flight back, uh, by the way, it was um, a red-eye flight. And on the flight back, um, yeah, there was these two girls um, on one aisle, and they were on the aisle across me. And I really don't know how I kind of made conversation. And then halfway through the flight, uh, one of these girls kind of stood up and she started to, um, she sort of like started to walk back a little bit. And then she started pulling me saying like, come on, come on. And then she kind of pulled me into the toilet. And then she, yeah, um, my high club, I guess. Yeah, and then like immediately after that, I started thinking, you know, um, I was thinking like, what's gonna happen here? I was, I started, I was thinking, am I gonna have sex? Am I not gonna have sex? Like it all started getting to me. And then I was, I was like really nervous because I had no idea what I was doing. And then I started thinking like, okay, so it's midnight, so no one's gonna try and come in now. But then again, it was right next to where the crew was. So I was nervous about that. But I was also nervous about, you know, what was happening here. And I had no clue what I was doing. And the girl, she was, um, she was pretty fit. Yeah, I have to say, she, she was amazingly fit. And I, I remember thinking to myself, like, wow, I would have just been happy, you know, just to get a number of her. <laughs> and all the stuff that I was doing, um, yeah, like having sex with her kind of was just like a big wow factor, to be honest. I was stunned, like even coming off the, the plane, like coming off like the coach back. I remember just thinking to myself, like, did that just happen? I remember thinking, um, what was it? Um, I was thinking, that was I on the flight and like they had us start sleeping and imagine all this in my head. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of I was kind of scared because I had no idea what was going on and like I had no idea what was happening. And I had no clue what was what was going to happen. In a way she kind of um not trying to well, you know, um, she kind of, um, she kind of pressured me into it, if that makes sense, because I had no idea what was going on, but I didn't want to say no to it. So I had no idea what was going on, but I didn't want to say no to it. Uh, my name is Bonnie and I've been playing James. Now, this story kind of, was kind of out there because I haven't heard of anyone's first time being in an aeroplane. But the fact that she was so nervous made it seem more like the type of thing that every teenage guy would go through, of like being nervous going through their first time. And the fact that he kept on talking about kind of like all the after experiences rather than the actual experience kind of gave to me that he was really nervous and that I kind of imagined himself of being more like a typical guy, um, kind of like a guy like me but he was really nervous about like, contact and stuff like that and like, talking to people. Yeah. James didn't seem like he really wanted to at first. And the way the girl kind of pulled him in, I'd have told him, like, look, do you really want to do this?